I'm thinking of starting my own kombucha bar slash laundromat, and we're going to play nothing but 80s music in it. Would you come? Today I'm going to do a video on my very, very favorite kombucha. I will take a cayenne kombucha. Not cayenne flavored, it's actually a cayenne kombucha over any other kind of kombucha. Because it's like eating a hot pepper. It's like eating hot sauce. And you get that rush of heat that sends all the endorphins in your brain that's just flipping awesome. And it just makes you feel so flipping good. It's like a miniature high. It really is. This right here is quite possibly my absolute favorite kombucha on the planet. I think the only way this one could possibly get any better is if it were not the enlightened version and if it were the original version. But the challenge is I've never seen that. I've never seen GT's Cayenne in an original version. I've only ever seen it in the enlightened version and they don't ship it up here. I would imagine if I lived in Southern California, it would be readily available. Any road, this is one of my absolute favorites. Why? This is my favorite because of its potency. When you drink a cayenne kombucha, it's kind of like drinking whiskey, honestly. Only it's good for you, it's healthy, and the buzz you get off of it is actually a healthy buzz. And I like to rank kombucha on three factors. Potency, flavor, and health. Health and ingredients are a bit interchangeable. Potency is basically how it makes you feel. Whether it gives you that mild, tingly, zingy buzz. And it, believe it or not, that actually calms me down, if you want to know the truth. When I have a, a, high, a highly potent kombucha, it actually calms me down in my mind. But it energizes my body, and it just gives me a zing and a lift. And different kombuchas have a different potency level. And this is actually my favorite part of kombucha, is the potency. Hence, why cayenne is my favorite flavor. Because the potency is just off the charts. The next factor I like to talk about with kombucha is the health benefits. And that's based on the ingredients. And some kombuchas have a lot of things in them, and many kombuchas only have a few in them. I don't base it on the amount, I base it on the quality. I.e. this one has GT's Kombucha, which is Kombucha Culture, Black Tea, Green Tea, and Kiwi Juice. That's the base for many of GT's Kombuchas. That is all completely healthy and good for you. Fresh Pressed Ginger Juice. Ginger is super screaming good for you, and it builds your immunity. Lemon juice, of course lemon juice is great for you. Fresh pressed lime juice, and cayenne. And 100% pure love. They put that in every bottle. And I believe them. But, those ingredients are completely natural and completely healthy. Therefore, the health rating on this one is a 10. Absolutely. The, the potency level on this one is a 10 as well. I've never had any brand of kombucha, local or commercial, that has the potency level of GTs. Yes, I understand there are alcoholic kombuchas, but that's a whole different ballgame. The third factor that I judge kombuchas on is the flavor. And the flavor of cayenne is just outstanding. Now, I know there are a lot of you who don't like spicy things and you like more sweet things, right? That's very common. I personally prefer the spicy, zingy cayennes and gingers of the world. And I love to eat hot sauce, I love to eat peppers, I love to eat horseradish, I love to eat all that stuff. This one is probably my second favorite. I like the GTs the best, and then this one, and then the Kavita. This one is high on the potency scale, which is the most important thing to me. Packs a punch, which is what I like. Kind of like those guys that like their whiskey strong. They like their tequila and their Jack Daniels, which of course I can't stand those things. So 
So I'll take a milder approach. Let's read the ingredients for the health part. Let's see what's in here. We've got organic kombucha. We all know what that is by this point. Maybe you don't. It's kombucha culture made from tea, fermented tea and sugar with a SCOBY on it that ferments it. SCOBY is a, is a biotic organism that ferments the tea. Cold pressed ginger juice, cold pressed lime juice, cayenne pepper, and live active cultures. So looks like these guys actually add their cultures in Bacillus coagulans and MTCC5868. Actually, no, this one gets about an 8 for potency, and it gets about a 8 or a 9, probably an 8 for flavor. Gets a 10 for health and ingredients. Because, actually, I'd say it gets a 9, because it says carbonation, and I don't know if that carbonation is added in or if it's just natural. But, any road. This stuff is pretty good. Oh yeah. Actually, the flavor on this one is outstanding. The flavor on this one might actually be better than these. Since this video is all about cayenne and cayenne kombucha, I have here a sparkling probiotic drink it's not actually kombucha, but it often gets confused for kombucha. It used to get confused for kombucha by me because this company, Kavita, makes kombucha. But they also make sparkling probiotic drinks, which is, which, which is what this one is. However, it's still screaming good for you. Let's find out what's in it. This one has sparkling water, water kefir culture, which is made out of water, lactic acid, kefir culture, natural flavor. And again, the kefir culture is very similar to the kombucha culture in that it puts in the probiotics, billions of living probiotics, kind of like yogurt, right? It's actually adding positive organisms to your body, for any of you who have ever had normal kefir. So it's got that in it. It also has apple cider vinegar, which is super good for you. Lemon extract, which is course, which of course is good for you. And cayenne extract, which is fabulous. That's what this video is about. I enjoy Kavita. They don't make my favorite kombucha, but they make really good drinks. I love their ginger. I love their blackberry hops. And this one is pretty darn good too. Mmm. Has that interesting mix. It smells like yogurt mixed with lemon. It smells like lemon flavored yogurt. Spicy lemon flavored yogurt. That's kind of what it is. Let's taste it. Ah, I love it. And then Bacillus coagulans GBI 306086 which I don't know if that's naturally occurring from the kefir culture or if they add that in. Either way, it's really good for you. And then we have maple extract, which makes it yummy. Purified stevia leaf extract, which makes it yummy. And lactic acid. I featured this on my kombucha channel because it's very similar. There's, there's a lot of these kinds of drinks out there and there's more and more all the time. Highly recommend it, still screaming good for you. Go get some now. It's kind of like having a shot of whiskey. Now, I'm not a whiskey guy. I used to drink it when I was a teenager, but I can't do it anymore. It just makes me want to puke. But, you know, and those of you whiskey drinkers will understand, when you take a shot of whiskey, it just warms you up. It sends that warm feeling all through your body, right? That's why the St. Bernard's used to carry rum or whatever kind of alcohol they carried in them to people who were freezing in snowstorms, right, when they would rescue them. It's because it warms you up and it just sends this warm, energizing kind of feeling through your whole body. Well, that happens to me when I drink this stuff. And cayenne is so good for you. Now, I don't even know if there are other cayennes. I've never seen them. Again, if I lived in Southern California, I would probably have more access to cayenne-flavored kombuchas, but I don't. 
when you eat spicy foods, it just gives you a, like an adrenaline rush. It like releases some kind of chemical in your brain, right? It just energizes you. It's the fulfillment of a lifelong dream. Tune in, you're not gonna wanna miss it.